was brightest when I point it north. So north. Uh. Violet. All right, come on out, Violet. We know you've been spying on us. It's not like you're very discreet. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, 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 I'm just a cute little ghost. I mean, technically, she's not wrong. You're not fooling anyone, Violet. Ugh, fine, you caught me. But that's okay, because now I know all about your little rebellion against the believers. Okay. Naughty, naughty, you two. Are you going to join? So what? Are you planning on reporting us? I was considering it, but I think it'd be much more fun to watch you both beef it out here. <laughs> beef it out here? What? Violet, if you want to join us, you can just ask. What? Yeah, Violet, come with us. You can't be serious. Hey, I told you before, despite your whack social skills, I don't want an enemy in you. Besides, you're clearly not doing anything else. Yep. Uh, that's not true! You're stalking us, Violet. Come on, Violet, it'll be fun. We can use white as target practice if we get bored. Hey! Well, if you really want me around so badly... Yes! Just don't expect me to do any heavy lifting. On the wrong way. Feel like I got turned around. Oh, there it is. I got turned around. That's what it was. Another one down. Angled. Ooh. Yeah. Next level. It's starting to be something I worry about later. If ever. I'm so lost. I'm so lost.
Okay. Okay. Ooh. Let's keep it going. That one is not super clear. My hands are sweating and the controller is hot. If I had a different controller I could switch to. Let's Oh, Zach followed me. I didn't even notice that. I just noticed his messages. I'm not really. Mimics feel like an exception to the rule of invulnerability. Wait, what? Ricochet, okay. I need to jump more before I take that next shot. Shoot, then do it. That's what it is. Shoot, then do it. That's, that's, that's what I'm supposed to do. Cause never run into a mimic. I'd be fine if it just damaged you, but the instant kill is a little much. Fuck. Huh. I guess I need to be able to do that much damage. To also be considering enough damage to break things, like the red door. Sometimes I can do it, sometimes I can't.
bad. I'm not redoing that one again right now, because that's just me running at Mimics ten times and then getting it right. I spy something really tacky. White. Is it white leather bell? Uh, how are you so good at this game? Okay, okay, my turn. I spy with my little eye something flat. Oh, I know. I knew that was going to be it. I said, is it white flat ass? You okay, white? <laughs> Were you two saying something? You mean you haven't heard any of our S tier insults? What a waste of comedy gold. It's true. I'm actually kind of offended, White. Sorry. It's just some of my memories return to me at the sermon. Only enough to piss me off, though. Woo! Let me guess. Were they about red? Hush. I just can't believe I had to die before realizing how much Green was manipulating me. You keep telling me not to fight him yet. But I can't let this end without him suffering for what he took from us. Oh, if I get another boss fight, I'm in. You heard what Mikey said. The true days of judgment were based around forgiveness. If we succeed in restoring heaven, well... Eventually, you're gonna have to forgive Green. I don't know if I can. Forgiveness, forgiveness. Restoring heaven won't change the fact that we're still dead. True. So, why not treat yourself to a little revenge? Some people just deserve death over forgiveness. What do you think we deserve then? For our past? That's different! We were doing what we could to survive. We were victims of circumstance in a cruel, cruel world. And Green was it? I mean, he became her boss for a reason. Green lived in that same world with us. Yeah. One sec. I need to change my fan direction because it is getting hot. That is much better. I don't think forgiveness should be determined by things like who is or isn't deserving. We all feel and inflict pain. We can choose to fight this truth in an endless battle where there are no true winners, or we can make peace with it. The latter is the more difficult path of the two, but I think what you gain from it all makes it well worth it in the end. I think I get you. It's like how you can never be a true gamer if you only ever play on easy mode. That's not it, White. I mean, if that's what you need to compare it to. Mm. That's the bullshit analogy! I have a rough enough time getting past the next ones. into that one. Shit. Ooh. Yeah. Keep bringing him by that one. Oh, I missed it. Okay.
started. Hmm. I was on stunt, wasn't it? Next. That ends kind of neat. The page is glowing brighter than ever. We must be getting close. Good. <sighs> My feet hurt. Can't we take a break? I can do that. Oh, that's right. I stole some treats for us from Central Heaven. <sighs> Please tell me you got some of those peanut butter fudge things. Oh, that sounds good. How could I forget? And for Violet, strawberry cream puffs. They were always your favorite, right? That also sounds good. You brought something for me? I figured you'd come around. <sighs> Why are you being so nice to me? Don't you know how screwed up I am? You know I tried to get White to kill you, Red, and Yellow, too. Violet. All because I was scared that White would realize I'm the weakest link in the team and leave me behind. Violet, wait. Hey, no one is leaving anyone behind. Except for Yellow, because he's already dead. Just let me go. I don't deserve any of this. <laughs> look, we're a team. We're all we've got here. If you're willing to look past my mistakes in life, then... I'm more than willing to look past your mistakes in death. Really? Really. So come on. Quit oh. pushing us away. Thank you, White. Oh! Fucking hell, Violet! Well, she took the page. 
I knew Violet would probably end up a fight. Frankly, I thought Red would end up a fight. I thought I'd be fighting all the effects. You fell for my little act. Serves you right for underestimating me. After all, what's a katana to a cute face and an arsenal of dirty tricks? What the hell is wrong with you? Don't you want to help us break out of this endless cycle? I don't want to help you do anything. I don't work for you. I Worked for you. you work for green. Everything I've ever done has always been for green. Green? But but he led you to your death. You're wrong. I died of my own volition. I was more devoted to the business than anyone else. Yet you all treated me like a child. Yellow did mention something about fanfic he had but with her and the old boss, which I originally assumed was white, but no, it's green. Green never paid me as much attention as he did you, Apes. While the rest of you got to go off on big, important jobs, I was only ever trusted with the junk. I could never become the killer I was meant to be, because Green was too busy training you, White. Even in death, you're all he freaking cares about. So you decide to stab me for it? <laughs> <laughs> so, White, I meant to stab you only after you've taken out Red and Yellow. That way, I would be the top neon, and Green would finally shower me with praise. Or tear you into two. But you just wouldn't Literally. my plans. So I had to improvise. Ugh, how annoying! You would seriously kill your entire team for Green's worthless validation? <laughs> yeah, so? You were all so caught up in your own crap. None of you ever gave a damn about me. That's not true, Violet. I... Can it, Red? I know you were once just as hungry for Green's approval as I was. But unlike you, I didn't give up when White stole him away. <laughs> anyway... None of that will matter soon. Because now, and once it's mine, Green will have to admit I was worthy of his respect all along. And then, we'll kill you both together. Heart. Oh, damn it! Don't worry. Looks like she didn't hit anything vital. Almost merciful on her part. Could you at least pretend to be more pissed? I just... You and I know what it's like to be trapped under Green's spell. It's a painful place to be. We've got more important things to worry she about. She has now. the pages. Violet's got the page. White, don't move. Your wound. Can't let her get the book. White. Not bad for a dead guy, huh? Almost done. It's almost over. I submit. Oh, right. I already died. A while ago. And Did you die again? Where am I? Um. Yeah. I'm looking for the Book of Life. But I lost the page and ruined everything. I do that a lot, don't I? God? Hey, are you seriously laughing at me? That's messed up, you know. I'm on the verge of a breakdown. Whoa. How'd you do that? Where are we? The book is here, at this temple? Wait, how do you even know this stuff? Who are you? God. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... 
You can't really expect me to believe that, can you? That you're... God? Tomorrow will be the final day in paradise for most of you Neons. What little of you have survived. You've done great work eliminating Heaven's pasts. But only one of you will be worthy of our gratitude tomorrow. For everyone else, well, there's always next year. That glitch out? Or am I seeing things? You're back. Don't act so happy to see me. Let's see here. Your next mission requires this neon rank. Oh, you only need to be 58. Wow, look at that. You're You've earned yourself a Yeah, yeah, I, I know One that. moment while I check on Mr. Mikey's schedule. Ah, there you are. Good to see you up on your feet. Ready to face Mikey's wrath? I took that hit all by myself, thank you very much. Filled him in while we were patching you up. Yeah. You were out like a light, you know. It was kind of scary. Wait, did you guys see my junk? She stabbed you in the chest, why? Why the hell would we see that? It's nowhere near where you got stabbed. Yeah. Just making sure. <laughs> I'm like you're gonna be strip searched. Jeez. We nurse you back to health and all you can think about is your thing. Sorry. Sorry. I really am thankful. You guys fixed me up good. Feels no worse than a paper cut. Good. Because with the page gone, we've got to revise our strategy. Mikey had some not-so-great ideas he wanted to share. What if I told you that I've got a game-changer up my sleeve? Oh. Then by all means, please steamroll Mikey in there. So, I think I talked to God. <laughs> this is your game changer? They're doomed. I know how it sounds, but while I was knocked out, I had this vision. Of the Lord. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, that's what he said, at least. I didn't actually see him. Oh yeah? If it was really God, then describe his voice to me. I... I can't. It, it was indescribable. But he took me to a busted up temple in the sky with a big old cross stuck in it. Hmm. Sounds like the third temple. Third temple? Where God used to reside before the believers took over and wrecked the place. It's been sealed up since to prevent trespassers. I would have remembered if we saw something like that on their missions. Maybe White's not crazy. Yeah, no crap. So you're telling me the big guy really spoke to you? Did, did he ask about me? Uh, no. He, more so, was given directions. He just showed me that temple, then told me I could find the Book of Life there. But the Third Temple was so thoroughly looted during the war. There's no chance in hell the book wouldn't have been uncovered. I don't know what to tell you. I didn't believe any of it at first, but when I woke up, I felt myself being pulled in the direction of the temple. Even now, when I close my eyes, I can see the path. Well, then it's settled. That's God's word. You gotta heed it. I wonder if I'll get the chance to talk to God, too. Maybe when this is all over, we can all sit down and have a drink with the guy. Ooh, that sounds fun. What's God's drink of choice, Mikey? Enough of this blasphemy! Get out of my office and find that book before I spite you all myself! Thank you, Mikey. <laughs> 